Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I wanna to talk about Divi 5. Now I'm recording this video in the middle of October 2024. Divi 5 Alpha has already been released and there's been several updates to that with bug fixes and it's available to be testing uh, at the time of this recording. So that's a little context to this. Uh, let's jump into some thoughts, some insights, and talk a little bit about when you should start using Divi 5. So this video is definitely more of a talking video, not really a tutorial. I do have a blog post that I will reference to keep me organized, and I also want to show you a quote from Nick Roach that I think is very helpful. All right, so obviously Divi 5 is kind of, you know, in the air these days. It's exciting. It's coming. Everyone's talking about it. A lot of people are testing the alpha. Um, so let's talk about like, should you be using that on a new site and things like that? Um, first, I, I love this comment from Nick Roach. This was posted sometime in the beginning of October, maybe the second week of October, 2024. Um, someone had asked him, you know, about the timeline and should, you know, kind of along these same topics, right? So here's what he says. Since Divi 5 is a vast project with massive changes, we aren't rushing towards a final release date. That's right, someone had asked him like, hey, what's the date of the release? And it's like, how do you know that? Instead, our approach focuses on backwards compatibility, stability, and lets people adopt Divi 5 at their own pace. Okay, that's the purpose of the public alpha and beta, and based on what matters most, you can jump in at any point and use Divi 5 when you find the experience is superior to Divi 4. So obviously that's relative. It's gonna, he's putting it out there like whenever it works for you. Um, there's some uh, different clarifications here. From their end, once they're confident that everything, everyone will find the Divi 5 experience superior, then they'll pull the trigger, um, send the update notification, meaning like you'll click update when you have Divi 4 point something installed and it will update to Divi 5. Um, and then all, um, yeah, we'll fix all the bugs, finish a few more features and give third party developers time to convert their modules. Bugs are currently the major hurdle preventing Divi 5 adoption. So we are focused on that. And he keeps definitely mentioning, you know, their focus on bugs at this point. I guess that we are about one month away from recommending using Divi 5 on new projects and two months away from recommending migrating existing websites. However, everyone's needs are different and you may, for example, wish to wait for specific third-party modules to be converted before you start using Divi 5 on certain sites. We'll leave it up to you, and the Divi 5 experience will win you over as it improves. It gets better every two weeks. Okay, I guess I have three things. Um, there's no rush for a final release date because that's not really like your goal. You're not go your goal isn't like, oh, we got to hit that. Your goal is to like make it backwards compatible, make it stable, and kind of go from there, right? Um, remember, and I'll talk about this, but like public and alpha and beta phases are meant for that. Like most software wouldn't be giving you this option. Um, there's not too many, uh, if any, that I can think of offhand software where you would get an alpha version. Maybe a beta version if you sign up, like that's more common. Um, but alpha is like very uncommon. So the whole like point of me saying that is it's alpha. Like what, you should not use alpha software of any kind on a production ready like website. It's, it's just, please don't do that. So let's talk about my perspective on the Divi 5 timeline, kind of based on, on that uh, quote from Nick. So um, he's estimating that within a month or two, you know, you could probably start using it for, you know, real websites that are basic and my advice is, you know, if you're going to use it, um, definitely use it on a new site rather than existing. That'll actually be easier. Um, but make sure it's like a really simple site, maybe like a four page website and you don't need any kind of like, um, dynamic content and advanced, you know, features and different post types and all kind of modules and crazy stuff. Um, Start simple, start with something really simple and yeah, you'll you'll kind of get a feel for it and also you'll kind of know where Divi's at as you're doing it and 
don't go too far. Like if you're like, okay, this is probably not a good idea, then don't use it yet. For existing websites, now this, we're making a pretty clear distinction here. There's new websites and then there's existing websites. You're going to have less problems on new websites. The whole idea of this whole Divi 5 project is making it backwards compatible. Like that's, that's the bulk of it. Like that's why it's taking forever. It's like, like I used the analogy before, Divi literally is like, they were like a boat going across the ocean and they had to rebuild that boat completely from scratch while it stays afloat. That's my best example of what they're doing. It's very complex. So I say all that because on existing websites, it's going to be a lot more critical that you do testing, you do backups, you test on staging copies of that existing site. Um, I have links here for, you know, guides on staging and backups. That's really, really important here um, when you're switching to Divi 5. And of course they have that migrator, um, the system that checks for the compatibility and you'll have to run that and it may say, oh, please wait because of this or that reason. Or it may say, hey, you can proceed, but here's some things to consider. So there's blog posts they have on that, like on the whole, um, I can't think of the word they're calling it, but the migrator system that they have. Now, perhaps one of the biggest factors, and that's where I come in here, third-party plugins. In, in Divi 4, the, the modules, you know, like if we had a plugin that's a module, um, like my Tabs Maker plugin, you know, that should continue to work because those short codes will still be rendered in Divi 5. That makes sense? So like, it's just not converted to the new system, but it should continue to work. It will not be optimal though. So yeah, it should work in their, you know, backwards compatibility mode, but that's more temporary and it's not really ideal. And if you're relying on a lot of modules and different plugins, you really should be waiting until you hear from us. Like from, we're gonna be communicating, you know, to our customers, we're gonna make public announcements. Um, when things are ready or, you know, for beta testers, I'll get to that. But yeah, I would highly recommend waiting and that's going to be a key factor. You know, the Divi is run, you know, a lot by the third party community as far as plugins and enhancements. And that's how it's set up. That's what makes Divi unique. Um, that's what, you know, helps the community be as strong as it is, I believe. And so it's one of those things where sure, you could try to move on and try to get ahead, but waiting at least at least a little bit longer. Um, several more months are going to be needed until you know things are getting to where we're feeling like we're peaking, you know, and you can start you know using our modules that have been converted. So if your site relies heavily on custom third-party modules and plugins, then wait. But if you don't, then go ahead and the next couple months you could start doing the basic sites. All the I shouldn't say all, a lot of the third party developers like ourselves, um, we're keeping up, um, we're trying our best, we're trying not to overwhelm the Divi team by asking too many questions and they're trying to help us but also trying to focus on core. So it's it's a, a tense situation as far as so much workload. Um, we're trying to be understandable of each other and yeah, it's it's complex, it's, it's intense, it's exhausting, um, I think everyone's getting a little tired, but everyone's also staying positive and persevering. And I will say, thankfully, we are making great progress. I, I, I do need to say that. Um, it's been a long journey. And I mean, I think I already have three plugins completed, at, I think as of today. Not Maybe not like 100%, but you know what I mean? Like almost completed and others are all in progress. So that's exciting. It's encouraging, it's a lot better than it was a few months ago. And I already kind of started mentioning in on this. Um, but yeah, some of our plugins are actually ready for people to test. I've been testing them, it's going to be really good. They get a lot more people, you know, my team has been testing, but it's going to be maybe even fun for you to play around with them if you're familiar with some of the plugins. So I have a page, um, I, had, I had previously called this like my Divi 5 FAQ page, and now I just made it my Divi 5 hub page. So it's pacreative.com. Uh, forward slash uh, Divi dash five, so Divi five. All right, so here on this page, I have FAQs about our plugins, then general FAQs about Divi five. Here I'm going to be um, automatically putting all the blog posts and tutorials about Divi five here. And then I have this form, and this is what I wanna highlight today. 
So if you are familiar with some of these plugins, like maybe you're an expert at the taxonomy helper or, um, I don't know, the table of contents and the social sharing, whatever, and you want to test these, select these in the form and make sure you're a customer of these already. It's actually, I'll, anyway, I'll tell you about my automation maybe, but fill in your name and email and that's it. That's going to go into an automation and I have a community that you'll be um, added to. Um, it's a, actually a plug-in Fluent community um, by the makers of like Fluent CRM and Fluent Forms. Anyway, um, this is going to go in there and it's going to check which ones of these you added and it's going to add you to the corresponding beta tester group, which will give you access to the file and it's going to check if you have already purchased that plugin. So it's kind of proud of myself for setting that up. It's all Fluent through Fluent CRM, um, all the, the automation, it's pretty cool. So I have it all set up. If you wanna see that, I'll show you the behind the scenes someday maybe. But anyway, the point is, if you wanna be a beta tester of our Divi 5 plugins, there you go. Anyway, I guess in conclusion, you know, it's, it's, it's so cliche, but you should start using Divi 5 when the time is right. And it's, it's just one of those things. So. It could be right for you to start testing. I mean, it is helpful for them to be testing it. Um, again, probably, I think I think Nick's timeline is right. Within the next couple months, you'll be able to be using it on, on smaller sites. And even as you get access to some third-party plugins that are updated, you can start integrating them into your workflow. And I think, you know, I think we're, we're getting so close now. Before there was such like a, I don't know, like a hill ahead of us, you know, uh, my, my analogies tonight, but, but there was such a big hill and it was like hard to see the top, you know, if you ever hike up a mountain, um, we were doing this recently with my family, I was telling my wife, I was like, I was like, yeah, I remember hiking, um, up in the mountains of Potter County, Pennsylvania. And you like, look up to the trees and you can see the sky through the trees. You know, you're going to be at the top then, but if you can just see dark through the trees, you know, you're like, you're not near the top. And um, I feel like right now we're at that point where I can see the light through the trees. We're not at the top yet, but we can see that there's going to be the top. And that's exciting. And I, it's incredible like what the future holds. I spent like a lot of today working on um, outlining ideas for uh, new plugins um, that I'm working on specifically for Divi 5 and will be coming after Divi 5, um, not before. So that's fun, it's exciting, it's, you know, it's, an, it's like a new era, it's going to be a lot of opportunity for everyone, for users and obviously for solutions like that we create, so. I have rambled quite long enough. Um, if any of this was helpful, let me know, and um, any questions you have, feel free to ask. You know, I may not have the answer you know, or like a hard answer, but I can give you a roundabout answer at least. All right. Thank you for listening. Uh, we hope you're excited and yeah, the future is, is bright.